Hi there, Caledonian biker. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another review. I'm at Jamal Motorcycles, one of the longest motorcycle dealerships in Scotland, 50 years now. And I'm going to review the new for 2024 GSX ATAR. This is in the metallic blue. It also comes in a black and a silver. The bike itself is new for 2024 and it comes in at £8,899. It's a parallel twin. It's producing 83 brake horsepower and 57 feet of torque. Its sister bike, the 8S, with the same engine, was voted Motorcycle News Naked Bike of the Year for 2023. So I'm really looking forward to doing about 100 miles in this wee bike and giving you my review and thoughts on it once I've ridden it. So, roll the intro. Go on to the motorway and see what this Suzuki GSX they are the old new for 2024. <laughs> Moving up through the box, it's a torquey engine on this 800 parallel twin. It's sister bike, GSX AS. It's given the Motorcycle News acclaimed award of best naked bike for 2023. And a lot of that was down to the, the engine itself, which is also in the V-Strom DE 800 version. Six gear rolling on, overtaking the four moving vehicles on the motorway. Not a problem to the wee bike. And it's very stable on the road. Sprung with a push, short suspension all round. I'm short with it, the block tyres. But the screen low, there is slight buffeting coming against your chest. Very good mirrors on the bike. Big lad, big torso. Certainly well positioned mirrors to see around about yourself and see what's approaching from the rear. This feel a very light bike, 205 kilos and moving it about and just riding it as well on the road. It's considerably a lot lighter than a lot of other bikes I've been using recently. Quite impressed with the weight of it, well balanced. Actual riding position on it, with the seat height to 8, 10 millimetres. The pegs aren't too high, and the bars are probably just a wee bit higher than most bikes in this kind of field. So, that is an actual comfortable bike for someone of my size at 6'4. To so be riding, no complaints here, Suzuki, thank you very much. Again, in 6 gear, roll on. No need to drop a gear, the torque there in this engine is light fast the slower moving vehicles and then side length. And we're still sitting about five to five and a half thousand revs with it, so way down the rev field that you've got a torquey motor that will just accelerate for you instantly. Very clear, precise TFT dash. 5 inch. The position of the controls in the bike are very natural as soon as I stepped on it. Everything was exactly in the handlebars where I expected to be. I wasn't looking down. I was riding, where's this, where's the horn, where's the indicators. Nice layout. Very pleasing.
thanks for staying tuned. So I've had a ride about 100 miles on the little Suzuki and I'm now going to give you my first ride impressions of the GSX 8R. The bike itself, as I said before, 83 brake, 57 foot of torque. Major torque, this is major torque, this wee thing, this twin has got some kick off it. I'm very impressed with this little engine. It's also got a super smooth quick shifter, like the big thousand that I test rode recently. And it's shod also with the Dunlop Sports Max. Good tyre, I'm quite happy with that. The bike's got the three rider modes and it's also got the lovely new five inch coloured TFT screen. On the bars themselves, they sit nice and high. I'm okay with that. And the controls were very natural where to find. No buttons, no looking down. Everything was just there where I wanted it to be. Pegs are good, they're not too low for this type of bike because it has a wee kind of sporty type bike as well. But my torso at 6'4", where the bar's been high and the pegs been quite low, I was comfortable for 100 miles on this bike. Very comfortable. So it's a big thumbs up as regards to the comfort for someone of my size. It's also got plush suspension. It's the Showa uh, big forks that's on it, the big piston forks that's in the front and a shore on the bike. But the bike itself is actually super light to move about it's very very light both when you're stationary moving it and when you're actually riding the bike so again that's another thumbs up for me also what also was impressive with the engine i've done a wee bit of motorway riding and i was pulling out and overtaking and six gear roll on as you'll see in the video the bike just pulled away with that torquey motor so i must admit i'm very impressed with suzuki and their new for 2024 gsx ATAR and it gets a massive thumbs up from me. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed my first ride impressions of the Suzuki. Bye for now.